Hey guys, welcome to another video from Historic Militaria. Today we are looking at a Mauser C96 that actually saw service with the German World War II Kriegsmarine Navy and uh, has got a holster that is associated with it, with it that is actually Kriegsmarine acceptance marked. And we'll take a look at all that in a moment. But first, uh, just sort of looking at the gun, you have a very standard Mauser C96. This is a very late production gun. It's known as a Model 1930 commercial. And probably the easiest way to see one of these is you look at the uh, your handle here and you've got very wide grooves. And that really is indicative of a 1930 commercial. That's just the first kind of thing that jumps out at you. The second is gonna be the serial number range. And this one's obviously in the 848,000 serial number range. And broom handle serial numbers go up to about 920,000. So you're getting pretty close to the end of production. Uh, this gun is probably gonna date to the mid 1930s. Uh, you've got your Mauser banner right here. And we'll flip this guy over right here. Get a better look at that. The side has changed. Uh, usually it had just said uh, Waffenfabrik Mauser and Oberdorf Nakar. Now you've got DRP UAP, and that stands for Deutsch Reich Patent and Other Patents. So that's definitely what you would see on a 1930 commercial, and that's another thing that's going to set aside. Uh, your chamber marking is going to be your typical Mauser chamber marking, nothing special there. The other thing that is different about 1930 commercials is that the bluing had changed to a salt blue, so it's a very black blue. Uh, it's a very pretty, very, very dark black blue. and. Uh, they're very, very pretty guns. The other ones were, a, I believe, a cyanide blue, and so they actually have a more blue-purple look to them. But uh, by this time, Mauser had just gone this way, so your guns are gonna be very black and very shiny. Uh, no longer are parts fire blued. They're actually uh, black as well. So what normally would have been fire blued, like your uh, slider right here, your extractor, all that's gonna be uh, black on these. Your tangent sight is still to a thousand meters, which is pretty optimistic for one of these. Uh, but your gun is otherwise the same. The other uh, minor difference is now there's a step in the barrel, which earlier guns did not have. But uh, again, you're looking at pre-World War II manufacturer here, but late enough where the Nazi party had taken over Germany and you had, you know, just going down that road to war. So a lot of these did actually end up in German military service, both leftovers from World War One, as well as uh, sort of new contracts. I know the Luftwaffe took some and there are ones that are Nazi proofed, as a matter of fact. And a lot of those Nazi proofs, this one does not have it, but a lot will show up on this barrel flat right here. And uh, this mark right here, in case you're wondering if my camera will focus, there we go, is actually just a Crown U commercial proof, uh, firing proof that's nothing to do with the Nazi party or military acceptance or anything like that. And if you turn this over, you'll see some various markings right here, which is really not anything. A lot of them have just all kinds of numbers and marks that seem like, like more like uh, just assembly numbers than anything. And this one is as typical cut for a shoulder stock. That's where your shoulder stock would go. This one actually came, instead of a shoulder stock, came with the holster that we'll look at in just one moment. The other thing that has changed on these is the serial number is no longer repeated everywhere. 
So you've got your serial number right here. And it used to be that then your serial number would be repeated here, here, and then your hammer would be numbered with at least a few digits from the serial number. No longer is that on any of this. It's all just blank. Also, your safety has changed. Now they actually mark it with safe when it's safe. And then fire for fire. Uh, otherwise, the gun operates the same really no major difference like i said there's a safety difference but that's pretty minor now as far as the holster this is typical what you would see for a naval holster at the time that would be issued with a broom handle they have an opener like this so you pull the tab open it up you've got two pouches for stripper clip ammunition this one has ammo in one, and that's just where you would store it. Obviously some wear from having a gun inside it. It is not marked inside or anything like that. Uh, you do have one reinforcing rivet here, and you have a slot for your cleaning rod. It goes down here, and your cleaning rod sticks out there. And this is the standard Mauser cleaning rod tool that you would use for disassembly of the gun. It's got a little screwdriver attachment on the base right there. And really these were pretty much unchanged from the beginning. So no big difference on these. Flip this guy over. You've got your standard belt loops and then you've got a Kriegs Marine acceptance eagle so you've got your eagle your stick eagle with your swastika with an m for kriegsmarine and you'll see this on a lot of different uh, holsters i've seen it on luger holsters i've seen it on oh sour holsters on really all kinds of guns the the german navy wasn't very particular with what kind of gun they used so again you'll see it on a lot of different kinds it is also pretty heavily faked, so be careful with uh, contemplating a purchase of one of these. Know what you're looking at, know what you're looking for. Uh, this one in context, you've got your proper Luger holster, or proper Mauser holster, uh, naval model holster, with a, uh, a mark like that does not surprise me to see that, so that really does seem to be uh, original as well as just experience in seeing these this is a very typical example of one of these the holsters are pretty unusual to find like this this one's a a pretty nice example of it good tight stitching uh really just some minor scuffing and some use but nothing no certainly no abuse the gun itself is in pretty nice condition uh 1930 commercials of all the broom handles are probably the model you will find in the best condition it seems like the last few thousand guns actually came out of the factory and never were sold i've seen examples that are look like they were just come off the factory assembly line this one obviously has seen some use it's got some wear there and it's got some wear from that when that goes back and forth when you shoot it. But all in all, a nice gun, a nice full rig. This would have been issued again to the uh, German Navy for World War II. And uh, we'll be looking at some other examples of German used Mausers, uh, both in World War I and World War II, as well as just uh, commercial examples and all kinds. We'll also be looking at all kinds of other firearms and helmets and ordnance and everything in between. So I hope you have enjoyed taking a look at this and we'll be back with more. Like and subscribe. Thanks a lot.